Banks of Maryland, who introduced that legislation calling for an investigation. First of all, uh, le let's talk about the first point. The president-elect says it was, it's a laughing point to suggest that Russia was involved. If you could, just give us chapter and verse the evidence that we have that Russia was involved in the hacking. Well, well the fact is, uh, Joe, that um, 17, our, all 17 of our intelligence agencies have said, <clears throat> without a doubt, Russia was involved in uh, trying to interfere and interfering with the 2016 presidential election. That's a unanimous uh, thing. And this is, that by is, the way, that is, that is unanimous. The same, You're not giving me Democratic that is talking unanimous. points. That's unanimous that's right. that's from exactly all right. 17 intelligence. 17. Okay. And that's so right. if that's Donald right. Trump has been briefed by the intel community, uh, chances are pretty good. He's heard this from the intel community, right? That's right. I mean, I don't know how many times. I think he's been briefed maybe four times generally by the intelligence community. Obviously, um, uh, President-elect Trump uh, is skeptical about the intelligence that he's getting. But the fact is, is these are the people who put their lives on the line every day uh, and right. we pay them to get us the best intelligence. So, so, so Elijah, uh, let me ask you. We in the Congress you. rely on them. The banner sure. says Democrats call for a probe into Russian hacking. That's a, to me as a Republican, that's a pretty depressing headline. Are Republicans supporting your efforts? Are Republicans standing what, in the way? Uh, what Republicans are helping you? What Republicans are being obstructionists here? We have not, uh, we've asked uh, Chairman Chaffetz to do an uh, investigation in the Oversight and Government Reform Committee, radio silence there. Um, we, uh, Why? over on the, uh, I Why? don't know. I don't know. What's the, I don't know. What's the staff got, say? They are basically giving us, saying that they're, they're, they're going to wait. They want to give uh, President-elect Trump a time to get his uh, staff together and his making an appointments. But Lindsey Graham, who uh, I don't agree with on many issues, uh, over there on the Senate side and, and uh, has asked for an investigation. And, and Ru uh, Marco uh, has, uh, uh, Rubio has asked for, uh, has said that basically we need to be looking into this. Big so Marco. what okay. we're trying to do, what, yeah, what we're trying to do, Joe, uh, is we're trying to make this truly a bipartisan it needs effort. To be. Because this is bigger than, this is bigger than yeah. this election. This is bigger than Trump. This is about uh, saving uh, and preserving our democracy. And yeah. so uh, when you've got 17 uh, intelligence agencies saying right. that they're interfering, this is something should, should, that should alarm all of us. And so right. hopefully this commission will come together and be able uh, to get, uh, get and Republicans get so, behind it, too, so yeah, we let, can address let, it. Let, let's hope so. Mark, Mark, you know what we do on this show all the time. Yeah. We have for eight, nine years. Oh boy, what's we that? always say, can you imagine? If a Republican had said, fill in the blank, right? Right. And of course, the media is always blind to that. <clears throat> yeah. Because Republicans are treated differently by the media, not a positive way, than Democrats. In this case, you've got to say, can you imagine the squealing on the right? If <laughs> Russians helped Democrats by leaking information weekly, sometimes daily, against That's right. a they, Republican they, candidate. They would be talking about impeaching and they removing from office an illegitimate president. And look, it has been now over a decade. Right, by the way, they'd be talking about impeaching the, the incoming president, and they would be talking about tearing the intel agencies down Correct. to the ground. Correct. The fact there has not been right. more offense uh, from Republicans at this point is really disturbing. It's outrageous. And look, it's been more than a decade before we've had a legit bipartisan investigative hearing. It just doesn't happen anymore because of how polarized things have become. Nothing more demands a bipartisan, serious, actual oversight investigation than there's yeah. nothing. Yeah. Exactly right. And, and, and Jeb, one, one of the things that I'm trying to do is keep this, not, not bring us to common ground, but to higher ground. Because again, right. you know, this is going to affect generations yet unborn. And, and right. the other thing is I don't want it to become normal for us to expect uh, other countries like Russia to interfere with our election. So, I mean, it, it, it just yeah. interferes with the integrity of our process. So, Elise, this becomes more common now. And I'm, actually, I'm hearing you know, a lot more from people in Washington who will say, don't talk to me on the phone. The Chinese are listening. Oh my gosh. The Israelis are listening. The Russians are listening. And six months ago, I took that as a joke. It's not a joke anymore. They are listening. No, it's not. It's, it's not. not. You're absolutely right. Uh, so you and the, the surveillance, yeah. the surveillance powers that Donald Trump is going to inherit, inherit too. It's you know, it's troubling to know.
there is so little oversight and that we have essentially become a surveillance state and we aren't doing anything about it. We aren't protesting. So, so Congressman, since but, we all seem uh, to agree on this issue, what are the prospects for getting your bill passed? How do we get your bill passed? Well, one of the things that, we're, as you know, we're at the end of session. We're going to refile it uh, at the beginning of the next session. And in the meantime, we're trying to garner support from our Republican colleagues. And certainly, I think we have a lot of Democrats that are ready to join us. Uh, but so far, we have not had one single Republican in the House uh, to express uh, interest. But I'm, I'm, I'm expecting that to change uh, soon. Because again, when I think they look, when they look at the, the, the significance of this, uh, they, it, it would be literally legislative and congressional malpractice not to address this in a bipartisan way.